and Ophelia is going to grab that. And DY definitely utilizing their courier properly, um, using it to scout that top rune, uh, which is kind of what they should do at the beginning. But Ophelia looks like she's going for an early gank mid, but she only has command, so it's not going to be very useful. Uh, I think if she should save some of her skills instead of burning it early on, but she does need it to jungle, I understand that, but to be close level 2, um, and then she could just, like, stay in lane for, like, 30 seconds, and she'd be level 2 to get her command going again. So she's starting off strong in the Hellborn's jungle. And then, let's see here, uh, it's definitely a strong lane up here, Pyromancer Blacksmith. Very strong lane, but Magnus and Forsaken and Archer also have this team uh, kind of annihilation there. And down bottom, the lonely Hellbringer down bottom. He's just gonna look to harass with his new death boil that chains. Soul Reaper getting an early early aura to kind of keep Hellbringer down a little bit. So we don't even have to worry about his harassment, I guess. Which it does. It does do quite a bit of damage, especially on int heroes. Um, I believe it starts as point one, or okay, so point four. Their max health per second when you're in range. I know they nerfed the AOE on it a little bit, so it's not bringing down exactly a health per second, uh, but it's definitely doing. It's going to do work on this health right here. But definitely a smart choice by DY to put him in the bottom lane and throw down his heal death death boil and heal up. Um, and up top we got nothing happening just yet. Looks like Magnus and uh, uh, Forsaken Archer just harassing Blacksmith a little bit. And the same thing looks like it's happening in the mid for Chu right now. He's beaten down on this Soul Stealer. Very nice. We're going to see a whip flash right there. Boom. He's keeping him down. He's already burned one of his uh, runes of blight. I'll, I want to see if DY is going to try the same thing on, on We Heart Pigs that they tried on that last team. Using Ophelia to come out of the forest and just pull off a surprise gang on Puppet early on. But that's Chu, the big Chu guy in the mid. And here it comes now. Ophelia moving in. Chu grabbing a tree, though. Could, could help him this entire fight. And he's going now. Here comes Ophelia. Puppet Master going in on Soul Stealer, though. Soul Stealer's going to get his boots off. Uh, but there's the auto attack now on Soul Stealer. So let's see if Puppet can bring down Soul Stealer first. One more auto attack. Boom! Bloodlust for Chu. He's running away now from Ophelia. He's popping his potion. He's getting some HP back. He's running. Ophelia needs one more hit. Oh! Chu! Problem! I don't know. He's down. Ophelia getting the, the kill. Uh, but Chu did a nice job snagging Soul Stealer before. And I don't know why this noob is in spectate. Okay. Uh, we have a cursed. We have Soul Reaper. Um... In, in the area, keeping him down. Uh, Hellbringer getting getting kind of low. Uh, boy, this <laughs> yeah, but Puppet Master back in the mid, uh, picking up some new items here with that first blood gang, keeping him up with a lot of money here. But Soul Seer back on the offensive there with Doom Nukes right on Chew. So he's taking some damage, but Hellbringer could be in trouble down bottom. Soul Reaper moving in. There's the the stun nuke from Soul Reaper chasing down Hellbringer now. Presence doing a bit of damage, but there's the mana pot. Um, so that's uh, going to keep him up. Blacksmith has to go back to base, so he's, he's bitten, getting harassed up top there by Magnus and Forsaken Archer. He's doing some good work right up there. A lot of farm up there though, Forsaken Archer. And now Hellbringer might be in trouble, but here comes Ophelia around the forest. She's got two creeps, two Catmans. There's the slow Catmans coming in. There's the death boil. Oh, Pig could be in trouble here. There's the heals, keeping him up though. See, can we see the triple heal to keep him up? He's got it! There it is! He's still up and alive! 25 HP! Run, Pig, run! Oh, the heal from a curse for the save. He's making it away. Good. Oh, but they're diving. They're diving. We might see ports. Can we see ports? We want ports. We want ports. We want ports. But what a block by a curse to keep them off. Kept them off nicely there. Soul Stealer almost dead though in the mid. But he got Puppet. Soul Stealer got Puppet. Chew is down two times now. To Soul Stealer's one. Grabbing a bottle now, Soul Stealer. 
cursed with the haste bottom though. So Solstice is just wasting time right now. Down bottom though, cursed in the area. One more hit on Hellbringer to seal the deal. He's got haste. He's diving. There it is. He's running away now. Blacksmith on his trail. He's going to get out fine though. Very nicely done there by uh, a curse. That's, um, I don't know, you're too fast for me to even click on it. Warden with the nice kill there. Popping his mana pot, getting back on to his regen level. Looks like Chu's having a rough time this game. Let's see what his stats are like right now. He's doing good. Okay, so he does have second most creep kills to Ophelia, who's got 24, so. But he is doing the best right now. Uh, he does have one kill on him, which was the first blood, so he's got extra gold for that. Although, you don't. This is not a typical We Heart Dig Stomp Smash right now, which is uh, really interesting. This new upcoming team is do doing a really good job against our top place teams. Definitely finals, finals capable, uh, at least right now, anyways. It really needs to depend on this We Heart team. It already looks like it's going downhill right now. Forsaken Archer hits solo farming up top almost against Pyro Blacksmith. Uh oh, but spiking into the mid. Solster getting Puppet's ulti on him. One more auto attack on the Puppet. One more. Oh no, he couldn't get it. No. Solster using his bottle to keep himself up right there. Blowing all the charges. Chew waves. Oh, Ophelia heal saved him. And Puppet Master Chew level 6 now. So he's got an EXP advantage over Soul Sealer. But up top, Pyromancer could be in trouble. FA snags the kill. That's B Kids uh, on the kill. Blacksmith now on the run. He's going to go down. Let's see if B Kid can get the double kill. That was Magnus with the kill first off. So there's the second kill. Foo's getting the kill. That's Forsaken Archer getting one. Magnus snagging the other. And now Soul Sealer's in trouble now. Boom! Shakalaka Chew back in the game. He's getting a kill. Soul Reaper versus Hellbringer down bottom. And Soul Reaper with the level advantage, surprisingly enough, even though Hellbringer has been down there by himself. Uh, so that's a little bit interesting. Not very, but definitely has a little bit of interest in, in it. Down EXP. And this is our We Heart Pigs team up. And 2k gold. Um, and they're up in EXP now by a k 1.4k. Forsaken Archers, uh... Let's see if he's getting items or if he's just got gold still. 390. Magnus looks like he's waiting. To get a gank up top here. And I want everyone to shun this noob spectator after this game. But hold on, let's go bottom here. Ophelia came into lane. But there's the dot. Uh oh. They got enough heals to survive that though. Definitely. Yep. They're surviving now. Keeping Ophelia from doing her job and pushing towers. But up top, real quick here. There's Foos with another kill. Magnus in the area. Puppet Master with a double damage. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Chew with a kill. 8 to 2 in the We Heart Pigs team favor. Alright, let's see, um... Magnus looks like he's doing work up there. He's got his ultimate. So, they definitely have a lot of team fight capacity right now. Uh, the Hellborn, Magnus, ultimate. Forsaken Archer, ultimate. Soul Reaper's heal, accursed shield. They got, they're doing a lot of burst AoE damage. Uh, then you have, but for the other team, they have the same thing right now. Hellbringer's ultimate, Soul Stealer's ultimate. And then you just have Blacksmith and Pyromancer to kind of... Almost crowd control a little bit with their stuns. The thing I like about heroes like Pyromancer, uh, which, that includes Witchlayer, Deadwood, is that they have the ability to instantly change a team fight to make it a 5v4. Okay, so we got ports in now. Soul Stealer's gonna be in a bit of trouble here, going for the newest Chu dive or Chu dodging. And the ultimate from Magnus. I don't know. I, th I think that was kind of a waste, but uh, definitely got the kill there. And now for the um, really quick, I just was informed that the other semifinal is HBB versus Team Five. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you can catch that cast on GameReplays.org as well. And Hellbringer's now on the offensive down bottom against the Cursed and Soul Reaper, both of their ultimates. Hellbringer only level 5. 